My name is Beth and I'm going to show you how to make a pennant banner today out of a storybook. Um, you can't get any simpler than this. Um, I am doing a cat in a hat baby shower this weekend and decided we needed something to kind of spruce it up. So I thought I'd make a pennant banner. Um, you may have books laying around your house. I didn't. Um, so Goodwill is a good place to look for books or any type of consignment shop, the dollar store, anywhere. Ribbons, not that expensive, especially if you get it half off at Hobby Lobby. Um, $1.99 ish, no food required, just a hole punch, still scissors, and a book, and some ribbons, and that's it. So basically, all I did was take a book, a triangle that we made on the um, computer, and just cut out, and I traced it on the pages. And then you cut out the pages. Poke the holes. And you thread them through a ribbon. Yeah, if you want to straight that. If you're a little bit type A and you need it perfect, easy as that. Oh my gosh, there's a cat in my window. I don't have cats. And simple, easy, cheap. Um, good cost, absolutely nothing. The ribbon I used was 5 eighths of an inch and it's 12 feet long. Um, I cut out nine different pages. You can glue, um, cut out letters and glue letters on top of them if you want them to say something or um, just leave them plain like I'm going to do. It's great decoration for a cake table, fireplace, anything that you're doing. Um, so like I said, it's really easy. Hole punch, scissors, no glue, no it won't take much. So I hope there will be many more tutorials like this. Um, they may not all turn out, but hopefully we can figure out something to make them work. So um, that's all. <laughs> See ya. I love